And I think that uh, uh, any movement, and Hizmet is a movement like that, that contributes uh, to the non-Muslim world's understanding of Islam, is contributing to uh, the future um, peace. Hizmet schools really live up to Several years I've been studying. All of these teachers, 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 to be specific, I'm a reform rabbi, so my first trip to Turkey was a long time ago. Uh, since that time, I've been back three or four times. As I mentioned before, we've been to Turkey on several occasions. Uh, once we went uh, on a tour of educators, and uh, uh, we visited a school uh, in Konya. Uh, my wife is a, uh, a teacher. And so were many of the people uh, on this, uh, educators, and, and it was actually religious leaders uh, tour. And uh, so we all were quite impressed by, by the school that we saw uh, in terms of um, not just a physical plant, which was very nice, but even more important to what we saw going on in the classrooms, uh, the way the teachers were, the way the children were. Uh, they, first of all, they seemed very excited about being in school and learning. Uh, and we were told about the curriculum. Uh, and I know that, because um, uh, I met several people who were involved as uh, teachers in his met schools, not just in Turkey, but uh, in, uh, we met one uh, who'd been in Afghanistan, not Afghanistan, in I think uh, Turkmenistan and, and Azerbaijan. Uh, I even met somebody here who had spent a couple of years uh, in Taiwan uh, in a his met school. So, I was impressed, number one, by uh, how excellent the schools were in Turkey itself, and number two, by the fact that uh, here was a Turkish movement, and there's obviously a lot of work to be done in Turkey uh, with improving education, and yet some of their resources and some of their personnel were involved all around the world in, in different schools. There are even Hizmet schools now uh, in, in the United States. I appreciate the openness, the fact that uh, uh, one doesn't simply do something, I mean, you have to take care of your own people, obviously, but, but that one can do that and feel that you have a responsibility elsewhere. Uh, and it's to Hizmet's credit um, and all the people in Turkey who support it uh, that, that they have a school system like that. Actually, we visited the this elementary school in Konya. We also visited a, um, a college uh, in Istanbul university, as well as a, uh, I guess, kind of a business college or teaching English uh, uh, school, all of which I understand were affiliated uh, with Hizmet. Um, and we talked to some of the students. And I think that uh, one of the advantages of a state school, and uh, a state school that has a commitment to uh, a religious uh, outlook on life, which I can appreciate as a rabbi, uh, is that th there's a sort of idealism that uh, you don't get in an ordinary state school. Uh, and um, that's really what I felt in talking to the people, that, that they, they were students who felt that uh, it, w it was not just that they were being educated to make a difference primarily in terms of their own life and their own benefit, but that they were being educated to, to feel that they had to make a contribution to the, to the overall society um, in, in terms of um, their own personal integrity, their own personal uh, commitment to, uh, um, to doing good. You know, the, the Quran says that you're supposed to prescribe the good, you know, and, and uh, I, I had the feeling that the Hizmet schools really lived up to, to taking that commitment seriously. 
Today we're in a world of everybody is uh, uh, interacting. Uh, and um, uh, Hizmet seems to me to be an, a, a very good uh, representative of the best in Islam in terms of um, uh, being open uh, and feeling a, a responsibility to, to the world. Um, and the, the pluralism that uh, is evidenced in the Quran, which uh, tells us to respect all the prophets and uh, all the people with the book. Um, I, I've been studying Islam uh, off and on since I was a college student. Um, in the last several years, I've been studying uh, with uh, several imams who are uh, products, I guess, of the Hizmet uh, movement. I think they went to their schools. They are involved with the, with the movement here. Uh, and um, it's just wonderful to be able to study with people who share uh, a common commitment to uh, respecting other religions, uh, not uh, having the kind of narrow-minded fanaticism that we see in too many parts of the world. It's really important. Unfortunately, there has been, especially in the last 10, 20 years or so, and after, in this country, in the United States, after uh, the World Trade Center attacks, um, people who take advantage of Islamophobia, that, that you should be afraid somehow, the Muslims are going to take over, they're going to introduce Sharia law, and, and everybody's going to have to wear a veil or other ridiculous things. Uh, and unfortunately, there are some people um, uh, who hope to uh, convert uh, Muslims to Christianity, who, who use that fear uh, for those purposes uh, and mixing politics and religion, which is always a terrible thing to do. Um, and, um, and Hizmet provides a, a model for people to see, not just in this country, but all over, in the United States, Canada, and Europe, and Asia, uh, that um, uh, that's not true Islam. True Islam is really uh, a religion that supports pluralism. And all, all Jews know that, that basically uh, Jewish life under Islam uh, was always much better than it was uh, under Christian domination. Hizmet, uh, I think, is the embodiment of uh, the good forces. There were always some uh, narrow-minded forces around, and it's important to have the good forces there to keep them under control and to, uh, 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 to keep them from setting public policy and, and, and really uh, disgracing the name of God profaning the name of God. And I think that uh, uh, any movement, and Hizmet, there's a movement like that, that contributes uh, to the non-Muslim world's understanding of Islam, is contributing to uh, the future um, peace of, uh, and not only peace, I don't mean by peace just that they're not going to have war, not going to have conflict. I mean more than that. I mean, you know, it's like salam, it's like shalom in Hebrew. Um, peace is a kind of a wholeness. It's a, uh, a harmony. Um, I, I remember reading something that uh, Gulan uh, wrote uh, some time ago where he speaks about, uh, uh, you know, uh, an orchestra where, where people play different instruments uh, and uh, and they, they, they actually have different things to play. I mean, uh, uh, they don't all play the same sheet music. They, each one plays according to his instrument. Um, but there's, uh, there's one conductor and there's one composer. So each of us has our one prophet who brought us the book. Um, and of course, the composer we know is all the same one, um, and you don't have a, a symphony if you don't have people with different instruments. If, if you had 84 people with violins and nobody playing anything else, it wouldn't be a, a symphony. Um, and that's the richness of the symphony, and that's why people want a symphony when it's got 20 or 30 or 40 members and not just when it's got 5 or 10, and lots of different instruments because they can do lots of different things. The composer composes for an orchestra with playing different instruments. Uh, and if we understand that, um, and that's, I think, 
would help to alleviate a lot of the, the tensions, the suspicions, the hostilities that exist between people. Because when you get to know people, uh, you know, on a one-to-one -one basis, you always find that, uh, you know, they're much better than what you hear about the mass, or the stereotype, the, the propaganda. And the fact that uh, he has had such a sustained uh, following in Turkey and shows a commitment to uh, uh, a moral position in politics and a moral position that is not extreme, but uh, is based upon trying to uh, do the best of combining uh, tradition uh, with uh, modernity. It really is, if your heart is a service heart, then that's, that's what it is. And so I, I make light of it. I say, oh, I'm an American Christian, but I'm part of the movement because my, my work is with education, it's with interfaith dialogue, and it's with seeing justice done in the world. Thank you.